So hello everybody and welcome to today's webinar. My name is Amanda Pauley and I am here today with Sarah Whitehead. Um, Sarah, are you able to turn on your camera? Brilliant. Okay. Hello everybody. <laughs> so thank you for joining us today for our webinar. So today's webinar is going to be a guide to the skin benefits of chemical peels. And this webinar is sponsored by Shop Beautiful and their trainer, Sarah Whitehead, is going to explain the skincare benefits of chemical peels. Um, she's going to talk about the different types, how they work on different skin types, contraindications to be aware of. And then she's also going to explain why bio repeal is a great option to introduce into your salon or spa. Um, now, we will have a 10 minute Q&A at the end where you can ask Sarah any questions about chemical peels. So if you do have any while you're watching, just put them in the comment box on Zoom or pop them in the comment box on Facebook and I will make sure to ask her at the end. Um, it's also worth noting that Shop Beautiful have a special offer for PB watchers today. Um, you can enjoy 10% off your first order using a particular code at the checkout, which I'm going to post into the comment box. So make sure to take advantage of that. But Sarah, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you? Oh, you're welcome. It's an absolute pleasure. And I'm really well, thank you, on uh, Quite a nice sunny day in Derbyshire, actually. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so it's nice to have the sun kind of this late in the year. So that's really lovely. Absolutely. So Sarah, I'm gonna let you share your screen and do your presentation, and then I will come back at the end to do the Q&A. Are you all right to share your screen? Yeah, let's go for it. So, there we go. So hopefully we're all good to go. Oh, she was good to go and she wasn't. No, oh, where's my present? There we go. Okay, so welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me on this live webinar where as discussed, I've been going to be doing a guide for skin benefits to chemical peels. Oh no, where's my, my slide gone? Why is it not working? Oh no. Okay, let's try again. Ah, it doesn't want to share. <laughs> oh Sarah, that's really unusual. Um, no. Have you tried, are you putting it in slideshow mode when you're yeah, getting it's up? in slideshow mode and then when I come to um, just click to go next, it won't let me do it. Let me try it this way. Let's have yeah, maybe try it with the, can you see the tiny arrows on the bottom I right? I can, hand? yes. Oh no, it won't work. <laughs> oh, how unusual. Oh dear. Um, okay. Can you see, can you see that? I'm just wondering whether you can see. Yeah, I can see that fine. That's quite clear. Um, yeah, can see that quite big. Otherwise, yeah, everyone's saying that they can see that. So I think that we can be good to go to go like that. If you want to go with that. Oh, well, I'm really sorry about that. So I was all prepared and it all goes peak tong in the first few seconds. So I'm oh, sorry. Uh, Thank Sarah, you. Yes. Sorry, someone's just commented and said, if you go to your first slide before moving to slideshow, then that might work. Ah, OK, let's try that. <laughs> Thank you, everybody who's watching to give us advice. Oh, who, wow. You well, thank you so much, Anne. Thank you, whoever that was, for that genius, uh, <laughs> genius interruption with us. That's great. Thank you so much. So I'm Sarah Whitehead. Um, these things never seem to go well when I do them for the first time. But I am a registered general nurse and I've been a nurse for over 20 years and I've got experience in aesthetics for probably the last 16 years. Um, I'm one of the UK KOLs and experts for biorepeal, which I'm going to be talking about a little bit later. It's an absolute pleasure for me to be here today. So thank you so much to Professional Beauty and Shop Beautiful for inviting me to take uh, part in this live webinar today. So the agenda is as followed. We've got an introduction. We're going to do a very brief history of chemical peels. Uh, we're going to talk about the different types of peels. We're going to talk about the skincare benefits, skin types and contraindications. And then we're going to talk about uh, my favourite thing at the moment, which is the bio repeal. So I've only got 30 minutes. And if anybody knows me, they know that 30 minutes is not long for me to chat. So I'm going to cram as much in as I can. It's going to be a bit of a whistle stop tour. Um, so hold on tight enjoy the ride and I look forward to answering all your questions at the end of the presentation. 
So this is one of my favourite uh, pictures of the carrot uh, being peeled, saying, you look younger. Did you get a peel or something? So since I trained in aesthetics nearly 16 years ago, there's been a surge in demand for chemical peels. And back in the day, I trained with um, MD formulation. So anybody who's like old enough to remember that is that's how long ago it was. It was years ago. Um, since then, there's been an explosion of the choice of chemical peels and skin conditions and disorders that can be treated by uh, peels. And it's really important as skin experts that we understand the different types of peels in order to be able to make uh, an informed decision about which one should be used for different skin indications and skin types. So chemical peels form an important part and quite a large percentage really of most aesthetic and cosmetic practices. And the reason for this is because they're very affordable. Um, you can achieve significant results um, with, a, with a, a course of treatments. And generally chemical peels in the right hands um, with the correct training are a very, very safe procedure. So skincare has been important to women throughout much of history. It still is. I don't know about you, but I've really looked after my skin in lockdown. I think that's the time when everybody started to be pay more attention to the skin. And chemical peels are an ancient practice and they've been around for a very long time. And as we can see on the left, this is our lovely Cleopatra. Uh, the date, the records date back to the ancient Egyptians. Um, they could be found bathing in sour milk, which we now know contains lactic acid which is an alpha hydroxy acid. The Romans and the Greeks, they rubbed uh, the flesh of grapes onto the skin. I mean, I prefer to drink my grapes, if I'm honest, uh, but it's quite innovative. It contains tartaric acid. It's a great antioxidant as well. Then we move to the 19th century where a guy called Ferdinand Hebra um, used peeling techniques to treat pigmentation, melasma and freckles. And Paul Una reported the use of salicylic acid, resorcinol, trichloroacetic acid and, acid and phenol on the skin. And it was following these reports that led to a lot more publications and findings on acids. So when we fast forward, as you can see, our lovely two doctors on the, on the right here, um, when the use of chemical peels started to gain momentum, in the early 70s, we've got Dr. Van Scott and Dr. Yu. They discovered uh, alpha hydroxy acids and founded the Neostrata company. So whilst all these methods have been refined throughout history and through years and years of trial and error, the concept of chemical peels um, remains the same. So, you know, to resurface and to rejuvenate the skin. Hope everybody's still with me. So as, a, as aesthetic practitioners, it's important that we really understand what our patients or clients are hoping to achieve uh, from their skin peel. And we're able to inform them, them of all the options available. So chemical peels are generally divided into three groups, and this is usually based on the depth of the penetration. So as you can see on the diagram on the left, a superficial peel will remove the outer layer of the epidermis. Then we have our medium depth chemical peels. Um, as you can see, we'll remove the skin cells from the epidermis and the middermis level. And then we have our deep chemical peels, which are uh, really, really aggressive <laughs> and uh, penetrate to the skin to the reticular dermis. So we just talk briefly, like I said, it is a whistle stop tour today. We just talk briefly about the superficial peels. They, they're commonly known as a lunchtime peel. And that's because there's rarely any downtime with any of these treatments. Uh, they're a great introduction for skin peels, um, particularly for, per, for patients or clients that are new to aesthetics and feel quite nervous. You know, a lot of people are still getting into, you know, understanding how peels work. Um, they'll find that they'll experience sort of mild to moderate tingling, tingling when the peel is applied and they tend to find that they get a light shedding of skin over a period of three to five days and they can return to normal life quite you know immediately really so you'll find your superficial peels tend to have ingredients like um, alpha hydroxy acids so glycolic acid um, lactic acid you've got mandelic acid tartaric acid then we've got our um, beta hydroxy acids, which is our salicylic acid. So it's usually really safe to get these kind of chemical, chemical peels every two to four weeks. But I always think it's really important to keep in mind that because they're so superficial, 
even with a course of three to six uh, treatments spaced three to four weeks apart, we're not going to remove really deep lines or really deep pigmentation. So then we come on to our medium uh, depth peels. Um, TCA, uh, trichloroacetic acid, is one of the most common ingredients used in a medium peel. And there's different strengths of TCAs and different combinations they can be blended with other acids, uh, dependent on skin type and the results that, you know, we're looking for the desired results. A lot of the time TCAs are quite, but they feel very um, hot on the skin. So your patient, you, or you, I say patient because I'm a nurse, but your client will um, complain, you know, the skin is feeling quite warm. It's almost, they liken it to having a bit of sunburn and we have to neutralize these peels. Um, and when the peel is removed, you'll find that the skin looks quite red and the patient says that it's quite sore. So the downtime, um, there's a bit more downtime on a medium peel. There is actually a very famous peel out there that actually turns your skin blue uh, and makes you look like a little smurf for about three days. <laughs> um, so that is quite significant downtime. And, um, you know, a lot of people tend to have a few days off work because they don't really want to be called a smurf at work. And you'll find that they get complete healing of the skin um, within about 10 days. Uh, they're not suitable for darker skin types, but we will go a little bit through that more a bit later. So then we have our deeper uh, chemical peels. This lady looks like she's come out of Armageddon. I really couldn't find any um, really like flattering peels <laughs> of a deep chemical peel, uh, but they're much more aggressive. Um, and phenol is the most common um, ingredient that's used in deep peels. And you'll find most people, well, most people who have these peels need a local anaesthetic. So these are not ones to be taken lightly. They tend to be um, applied uh, by a doctor. Um, but yeah, they have to have their local anaesthetic because it is a really painful and uncomfortable peel. The downtime, the redness can last for up to three months. They can get swelling, they can get crusting, they can get a bit of oozing after the peel. Um, but the effects of the peel are fantastic. Um, they can last up for 10, up to 10 years. So it's one of the sort of a one of a lifetime kind of peel that you would have. And this is definitely not a peel that is suitable for darker skin types. So, as I said, that was a bit of a whistle stop tour because we can talk about chemical peels all day, all week, and we probably still wouldn't have touched the sides. So we're just going to talk about the benefits of skin peels. So chemical peels can improve many skin issues. So we're gonna look at the most common ones that chemical peels are really great for treating. So we can lighten unwanted pigment and even out skin tone. So we can also improve other forms of hyperpigmentation such as freckles, PIH. Melasma is always a difficult one for me, um, but we'll discuss that a bit in a, in a, in a short while. Um, but it can um, also help with any surgical scarring. Um, obviously we can diminish fine lines and wrinkles. So chemical peels may reduce the signs of aging. So wrinkles, fine lines, age spots, uneven skin tone, roughness, dryness, liver spots. And you'll find when the skin goes, grows back after a chemical peel, it tr triggers the production of collagen and elastin. So this is why it's so great for anti-aging because it makes your skin supple, stronger. It reduces the appearance of wrinkles. The new skin that grows back is smoother. So it helps to decrease the roughness and the dryness of the skin. But it's worth noting that, you know, if you've got somebody that comes into your clinic who likes the sun and has got really dehydrated, really wrinkled skin, you know, the types I'm, I'm on about sort of the leather handbag type of skin. Chemical peels aren't really going to do a lot for these type of skins uh, and they would probably need um, a, a, a different, um, a complex treatment of modalities, to, of different aesthetic treatments to get results that they would like. We can also lighten acne blemishes and uh, prevent future outbreaks. So uh, the, the ingredients in a lot of the peels, they'll decrease oil production. They'll kill the P-acne bacteria. Um, they'll reduce inflammation and produce you know prevent future outbreaks um so i think you know peels are great for sort of acne spotty prone skin 
Now, this is a bit of a, a controversial one, but I always say about dull skin and you tend to have sort of dull skin if you live in an area of high pollution. So think you big cities and I always call it the London look because it's sort of grey, dull skin that's been affected by, you know, UVA pollution. But chemical pills are brilliant for brightening uh, a dull complexion because the treatment allows for the skin to resurface. So this helps the complexion to look brighter and healthier. So chemical peels, as we've said, are generally safe, um, but there are possible complications and not every peel is right for all skin types. So I always like to give a few facts in when I ever do a webinar, um, things for you to take away um, because I think it's always useful. But in 2018, Boston Medical published results that when performed appropriately, chemical peels can be a really safe treatment option for darker skin types. And researchers followed 132 patients with darker skin types to determine how prevalent the side effects were. So out of these 132 participants, um, 18 experienced side effects. And the most common were crusting, um, dark spots, reddening. And these side effects, effects lasted on average between four to five weeks. So in general, uh, very superficial peels are well tolerated on sort of Asian and black skin types. Medium peels should be performed with caution. And I will say that not lightly, you know, you have to be very careful with darker skin types. They're so, such sensitive skins. Uh, one of the safest peels to perform on a darker skin type tend to be a Jessner peel. And they're a combination of lots of different acids that will help to improve pigmentation issues because that's what uh, darker skin types tend to present with. Um, as I've mentioned earlier, it is not recommended or advisable to have a deep skin peel um, due to the increased risk of pigmentation um, changes after the treatment, which are which can be irreversible. So obviously we're talking about contraindications. It's really important um, to do a thorough consultation prior to any kind of treatment, especially chemical peels. And I know, I don't know whether they're watching, but I know at Birmingham University, the uh, students on the aesthetic degree course go through a really thorough consultation. And I feel as a, as a practitioner and a medical practitioner, it should be taken extremely seriously. Uh, and I know at the university, a lot of time is spent ensuring the students understand why you know, it's so important and to understand the contraindications. So the following conditions um, are considered to be chemical peel con contraindications. And the number one for me is pregnancy and breastfeeding. Um, anybody who's using anything like Roaccutane or Retin-A or any other medications that exfoliate or thin the skin. Um, if you do have somebody that is on Roaccutane, they will need to wait at least six months. It used to be 12 months, but it's gone down to six months. I would always say six to 12 months personally um, before they can have any kind of treatment. Anybody who's had any recent cosmetic surgery or laser resurfacing, obviously you wouldn't want to perform an acid peel on these types of skins. Anybody with cystic acne, um, this is really one for the medical professional. So I would always refer, you know, any patients or clients that come into you um, with sort of pushed all in cystic acne uh, to a dermatologist. Same with if somebody's got severe rosacea or even acne rosacea, these people need sort of medical intervention. Um, I wouldn't treat anybody who easily scars or has a history of um, pigmentation issues because obviously, I mean, I, as a trainer and as a nurse, you know, I like to sleep at night and uh, I like to make sure that, you know, I do the safest treatment and keep my patients safe at all times. So anybody who presents with anything that rings alarm bells to me, then I, I wouldn't treat. Anybody who's got a suntan at the moment, I doubt it because obviously, although we have had quite a nice summer actually, um, but anybody who's got sunburnt skin or irritated skin, we don't want to be um, exacerbating that with any acids. Anybody with open sores or lesions, um, infectious diseases, anybody with a psoriasis or, or any skin compromised, skin barrier compromised, um, I would not treat uh, with the peel. Um, 
active herpes simplex. So basically, if you've got somebody who suffers with cold sores, you know, this can trigger uh, an outbreak. Um, so if you have got somebody who, who has got cold sores and they're insistent on having the treatment, you know, I would always say that they need to go and have some um, Zavirex prescribed um, prior to the peel. Uh, and I'd always make sure that I um, put some Vaseline around the lips. Diabetes um, tends to be more type one than type two, but usually if they're well controlled, there's no reason why they can't have a chemical peel and autoimmune diseases. And it's quite interesting to know that 80 percent of sufferers of autoimmune diseases are actually women. And that is sort of I would say 80 percent of our market is women. So it is really worth knowing uh, that. Anybody who's had any permanent um, cosmetics, so if they've had their eyebrows tattooed, um, it's always really important to wait at least a week uh, and then cover with an occlusive barrier such as Vaseline. So I did tell you it was a whistle stop tour uh, to go through that because like I said, this is a, a subject matter that you know is written about. It's been around for such a long time uh, and it's really difficult to um, squeeze it all into such a short segment, especially when I've got something really exciting to tell you about. So as I've said at the beginning, you know, there's many different types of peels in the aesthetic market today. And, you know, I've been around a long time and, and it can be an absolute minefield. People are always asking me, what should I use? What brand should I have in my clinic? Um, what's good, what's bad, what works, what doesn't? And it's a real minefield. And especially when you're considering um, bringing appeal into the clinic and the salon. But what if I told you that there's a brand new kind of peel in town, okay? Uh, it's completely unique. Uh, and even though it contains a really high strength uh, trichloroacetic acid of 35%, it's super safe, it's super effective, uh, it's suitable for all skin types, which is absolutely incredible because, as we've said earlier, not all peels will suit all skin types. We can use this peel on all skin types. I've been involved with the peel for two years. I'm the UK expert in KOL for the product. We've had rave reviews. It's something that I absolutely love. It's sold in over 52 countries and there's so many positives to this peel. So there's no two week prep for one. So a lot of peels that you'll find, what well, you will have to prep the skin. You do not need to prep the skin with the Bio Repeal. Um, there's no burning. Um, you get a mild tingling. Uh, so there's no, and there's no need to neutralize. So it's no prep, minimal pain, minimal downtime and a peel that delivers impressive results that repeat, that improve over time. And as you'll see with some photos that I'll share as we go through the slides, uh, just a course of four can make a dramatic impact on the skin. So the Biore peel for me is a lightening, brightening, tightening peel. Um, it's a 35% trichloroacetic acid peel. It's absolutely perfect for fine lines and wrinkles, for spotty, congested skin, pigmentation, and as I've said earlier, dull skin. So if you want a real lightening, brightening, tightening peel, this is it because it works instantly. It's patented, so there's nothing else out there like this on the market. It's safe, it's effective. You get an immediate effect. So you literally, when you've taken this peel off, your skin is glowing. Uh, this improves over time and we can use it as the title suggests, FND, face, neck and decollete. So what makes the Biore peel unique is this patented technology. And I don't know whether you can see this. I think I'm still on camera, but this is our this is our vial of Biore peel. And you will be able to see, hopefully, a blue layer and a yellow layer. OK, and the blue layer, so this lovely, I mean, I think it's a really pretty peel, actually. Um, but the blue layer is our lipophilic phase. So this is like an oily, fatty uh, substance and it acts as a barrier and it protects all these. There's some fabulous ingredients in the yellow layer and it protects them all from oxidizing. It keeps them nice and safe and stable. It also has a filming action on the skin. It protects the hydrolipidic barrier, um, which, which is the barrier that can, covers the skin. And this ensures that the skin maintains its suppleness and moisture. Then the hydrophilic phase, which is our yellow layer of the peel, <clears throat> it's full of 
really powerful ingredients. Uh, we've got our trichloroacetic acids, we've got our um, um, alpha hydroxy acids, our beta hydroxy acids, our polyhydroxy acids, our amino acids, our vitamins. There's nothing that it doesn't really contain. Um, and literally it performs, this mix will be able to perform a biostimulating revitalizing effect in the skin. And the peel provides nourishment in the form of amino acids and vitamins. So it helps to feed the fibroblast to make more collagen and elastin, which is what we all want, because as soon as we're in our 20s, we start to lose our collagen. And when we get to 30, it starts to go even more downhill. And then when you get to my age, you need all the help you can get. So <laughs> literally, it also contains the trichloroacetic acid. So this, this is a chemical injury to the skin. And this induces the wound healing process and produces growth factors, which have been clinically proven to reduce lines and wrinkles. So we've got four functional complexes of this peel. <clears throat> we've got our bio revitalization. So bio stands for bio, bio stimulation, sorry. And basically we're going to stimulate the fibroblast activity. We're gonna activate cutaneous proliferation. So we're gonna plump up the skin uh, and we're gonna protect against any free radicals. And we're gonna do this with our amino acids. Our amino acids are the building blocks of our cells. So we've got glycine, we've got proline, we've got hydroxyproline and we've got vitamin C which is an essential part of any bit of skincare that you should ever own. Then we have the re part of the pale, which stands for revitalization. This is going to create an anti-wrinkling effect. Um, we're gonna tighten the skin and it's gonna to help, to, the ingredients in this is gonna to help to the skin to look more radiant, fresher and healthier. And as soon as you remove this peel, your skin is like glows. It's like a little light bulb, it's glowing. And we do this with an ingredient called GABA which is also known as gamma amino butyric acid. I can say that because it's a weekday. <laughs> and it's Friday, Friday, shall we say. And then we've got arginine and vitamin B2, which is also known as our riboflavin. Then we have the peel. Um, this is gonna remove the outer cells of the stratton corneum by melting the kinesite adhesion bond. So basically what we mean by this is all that um, dead skin cells that are stuck to our skin, making it look dull um, and lifeless are gonna be melted by the ingredients and exfoliated off. So we're gonna reveal fresher, healthier, less congested skin. We're gonna unblock pores. We're gonna reduce sebum production and reduce uh, outbreaks. So then we have our lipo complex, and this is a really clever part of the peel. So it enhances the penetration of active ingredients, helps to moisturize and hydrate the skin. So as I've said, when the peel is removed, not only is it glowing, it gives the skin almost like a velvet silky texture. The skin, when you take the peel off, it just feels beautiful. And we do that by using squalene. So this mimics your skin's natural oils, uh, making it a really excellent emollient. And it's really well suited because I know a lot of people with sort of oily skin really struggle to find something that you know helps to moisturize the skin without being over oily. But this is literally really great for these type of acne prone skins because it's lightweight and it won't clog the pores. And again, suitable for all skin types. Then we have our isopropyl meristate. This strengthens the skin's natural moisture barrier. So it locks in hydration and it enhances the penetration of the other active ingredients into the skin. So I'm going to just show you um, a few slides now of how amazing the results you can get with this peel are. So I would say to you that this was an absolutely fantastic result. This is after only four treatments of Biore Peel. Um, the protocol is usually uh, a course of four, um, usually 10 to 14 days apart. Um, I think this is absolutely amazing results. You can only enhance these results if you do uh, microneedling as well, because the peel can, use, can be used in conjunction with microneedling. Pigmentation. I mean, I always, I always worry about treating pigmentation because it's almost like going to the gym. You can go to the gym and you can be amazing for four weeks. You can eat healthy, you'll get all toned, you're fit, you look amazing. And then you think, oh, I've done that for a month now. I'm not going to do any more. And it's a bit like treating pigmentation, if I'm honest, because yes, you'll see great results and you'll reduce the appearance and the improve the appearance of pigmentation and hormonal um, pigmentation, such as melasma. 
but you can never get rid of it. Um, you can manage it and you can keep it at bay. It's almost like having a boiling pan of potatoes. You, you know, to stop it boiling over, you can pop the pan, the, the lid on to, to keep it at bay. And that is how I would treat supplementation. But I mean, there's results for this speak for itself. There's four treatments this lady's had and the results are pretty amazing. When I was talking about the dull um, skin, sort of polluted, um, you know, just lackluster skin, really. I think this lady is a really great example of how just three treatments can, you know, make such a massive difference to the skin. And I, do, I, do, I have, you know, I've got more pictures like this, but you have to join me for training for that. So if you'd like to access uh, more training and you can access free training, actually, uh, which is worth 55 pound, um, please contact shopbeautiful.co.uk. They've got a link on their Instagram as well uh, to give you more information how to get registered. You can get 10% off your first order. Um, obviously, the training is with me. Um, and I think we're doing it tomorrow morning and Monday. And really, all I've got left to say, like I said, my whistle stop tour has come to an end, is thank you for joining me. Um, I hope that you found uh, this information useful. It may have been a little bit of a refresher. You may be completely new to peels and want to find out more. You may be old hat at it and you know, you've know you used lots of peels in the past and you're looking for something just a little bit more unique, which is gonna give you great results, uh, then you know, bio repeal is the peel for me that that ticks all the boxes. Uh, and the reason why I love it as a medical practitioner is that it's really safe. You still have got to have a little bit of respect for the product, obviously. You need to make sure you get the correct training. Um, as I said, I've been involved with this product for two years now, really proud to be involved with it. Uh, there are also um, other products in the range, uh, some creams that you can use um, and the patients and clients can take them, purchase them and take them home to use alongside the peel, which only improves the results tenfold. So I'm hoping that I haven't gone over time. Uh, I've kept to my 30 minute slot and uh, I'm gonna pass back over to the girls at Pro Beauty. Sarah, that was brilliant. Thank you, it was so interesting. Um, and we've had tons of questions. So I'm gonna try and do I my- I saw them all like popping up. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna try and do my best to kind of condense them because some of them are, um, kind of along the same line. So we've had a couple of questions about bio repeal and whether you can use it with microdermabrasion and whether it can be paired with microneedling as well. Yeah, I mean, microdermabrasion, I, I haven't got a protocol for that at the moment, um, but there is a protocol for microneedling and it does work really, really well with, um, I would say more of a stamping technique as opposed to a microneedling pen, um, because obviously you don't get that drag on the skin. Um, and we're just literally wanting to, you know, create those micro channels to induce collagen and elastin production. And obviously we can really address sort of acne scarring um, and PIH. And then, I mean, for me personally, I would get the peel, the, the skin under control first. And then once we've got the skin looking great, like on the uh, previous slide, if I can go back to it actually. So obviously, you know, I would peel her first every day of the week. I'd, I'd do the course of the peels and we can see she'd still benefit from some kind of intervention such as microneedling. So that is, as a practitioner, that is what I would do and there is a protocol for this. And um, we've had a couple of questions along the same lines as well about um, uh, what pH does the range reduce the skin to? Oh, do you know, that's a great question because as much as I know lots of things, I actually, don't know the answer to that so that is an answer that I can come back to so if anybody has asked that then please let me know and what I'll do is I will endeavor to get that answer sent over so you can you can send it out to anybody who wants to know that so I'm really sorry I've never <laughs> been asked that question before so yeah yeah so anybody who's watching Sarah will send me the answer and I'll pop it on the video that's on Facebook so you can go back and get the answers through there if you're watching yeah, that's a great YouTube. idea that's not a problem um also people have been asking whether you know you have to have certain qualifications to be able to offer this peel like do you need to be a medical practitioner do you need to be level three um 
Like yeah, you need you need to have have had peel experience um, and be familiar with peels and how they work. And obviously the pH, <laughs> which is really terrible. That I don't know the answer to that. Um, but you can't know everything, can you? I'm not the oracle. Um, but basically, yeah, as long as you are level three trained, uh, you need to check with your insurance. Um, but you can do the uh, training if you are a level three uh, therapist and you have had peel training. Great. Um, and also people are asking whether you can get the kind of results that we're seeing on the screen at the moment on skin types four and five. I always say they are a difficult skin type to treat, but there's no reason why they can't use this peel. Um, I have seen some really good results uh, with darker skin types. I tend to find that they're more of uh, pigmentation issues as opposed to sort of acne prone skin, spotty skin. But this peel is, that's the beauty of it, is the fact that it can be used on all Fitzpatrick skin types. Um, I mean, I always say to people, you know, whenever you are ever to try a new product and that you want to bring into clinic or salon, it's always brilliant to try it yourself, you know, try it out on your friends and family. So you can experience the peel for yourself, what it feels like, what your skin looks like afterwards. And then you'd be able to explain it to your, your clients you know when they're coming for a treatment because you you know it's it's the same as you it's the um thing as you are what you eat if you've got you know if you've got glowing skin amazing skin people are going to know what want to know what your secret is and you can say well i've used the fiery pill and this is the result that i've got been really happy with it would you like to try it mm. and um we've had two kind of more general questions about peels and people asking about what level of training or experience you need to have to do medium depth pills and also to perform deep pills? Deep pills are really only to be performed by medical professionals. Um, there's, you know, there's, there's no sort of ifs or buts about that. Um, they're, they're deep pills for a reason, you know, they can cause medical complications, you know. So it's, if you're not a medical practitioner, you should not be offering deep chemical peels. Uh, medium depth peels such as TCAs, you would probably need to be a level four and above uh, and very uh, competent in the use of peels. Mm. And obviously people also asking um, whether you provide training for this peel and where they can go about finding it. Yeah, absolutely. We've got training. The reason why I'm really proud to be involved in it is because obviously I have used this product for the last two years. So I know this product, apart from the pH, inside out. <laughs> uh, every day is a school day, isn't it? Right. Um, but yeah, so literally, um, it, if you're going to get training on this peel, you come to the people who, who work directly with the manufacturers, you know, on the expert, the KOL for the product. And we've got training tomorrow morning and training on Monday. And you can access it by going to shopbeautiful.co.uk. And I think there is a link also on their Instagram. So if you can give them a follow on Instagram uh, and click on the link, then the webinar, I think, is 10 till 11 tomorrow and 10 till 11 on Monday. And I think they get 10% off their first order as well. So, you know, and there's, it comes in a box of five. But I mean, I do go on. I do tell you this. There's more to this peel <laughs> than the sort of very short space of time I've had to discuss it. So. Um, you know, they will get to know everything if they uh, join me in the training tomorrow <laughs> or Monday. And um, we've had another um, more general question about peels as well. And it's about um, how long after a peel can you put your face back into the sunlight? Um, for me personally, and it's what I should have said, and I, I meant to say it and I completely forgot, is we should all be avoiding the sun as much as we can because it, it, it's not only is it aging, it gives us lines, wrinkles, it can cause skin cancer. So for me personally, I would avoid the sun. I mean, I'm in, I'm in my forties now, so I know I'm like, you know, I'm getting old now. So, but I wish that somebody had told me that in, you know, my twenties that I'd need to look after and protect my skin. So the answer to that is if I'm being absolutely honest, I wouldn't go back in the sun, but I know that's not going to, you know, be the, the right answer for everybody. But I think if you do, go back in the sun you've really got to protect it because otherwise then what is the point in having all of these treatments and trying to prevent you know prevention is always better than cure I say yeah. uh, so if you can protect your skin and avoid the sun I mean not that we're going to have much at the moment uh, and none of us I don't think are going on holidays at the moment um, but if I was doing a chemical peel you're going to have to wait really and really be careful uh, with exposure to the sun and always wear you know a high SPF before you do 
go into the sun. But, I, you know, if I, it's, sometimes it's unavoidable, isn't it? If you've had a peel one day and it's a blaring, hot, sunny day, you know, you're not going to sit out in the garden and, and get a tan on the face. It'd be just ridiculous. It'd be silly to do that. So, you know, just avoid the sun at all costs and always wear, wear your SPF. Mm. And um, we've had a couple of questions as well about people asking if there's a recommended home care procedure to go with the treatment. At the moment, there isn't. Um, they have got um, the Bio Relift and the Bio, Bio Rehydra, which are creams that can be used at home. Uh, there are other products in the pipeline, um, but at the moment, it's the peel and also, I think, actually, I shall get you them. <laughs> salon size as well so we've got our bio relift and we've got a bio bio rehydra but these also come in sort of consumer sizes as well so these are the 200 mils and then they can um they can sell the 100 mil of product uh, to the to the client after the procedure which they'd use throughout the, the course of their peel duration so if they're having a course of peel does that make sense yeah. <laughs> um and the last question is obviously people asking where they can purchase this pill and um, Sarah if I could just ask you to stop sharing your screen what I'll do is I'll put up the slide that's got the yep. shop beautiful offer on yep, no hello everybody um let me just share my screen sorry Sarah you're going to see yourself for a second it's um, oh, okay. always a little bit weird but can everybody see this so pretty much Shop Beautiful have got an exclusive offer for people who are watching. So you can get 10% off your first order. Um, all you need to do is use the code brand new at the checkout and the URL is there. So it's shopbeautiful.co.uk. So that's where you can buy the pill. You can find out a bit more about the training. And obviously um, I know some other people have been asking as well about if they can watch this presentation back. And you definitely can. So as soon as we finish going live, um, this video will be available indefinitely on PB's Facebook and we will also be popping it up on our YouTube. So you can go back, watch again, take some notes down. Um, but Sarah, just a massive thank you, really. It's been really interesting. Been absolutely inundated with questions from people. Um, but yeah, just a big thank you uh, for sharing your knowledge with us today. Well, thank you for inviting me. It's been an honour, as I said, and a pleasure to uh, hook up with you guys and obviously be representing Shop Beautiful. And uh, it's a fantastic product and, uh, you know, it's something that I'm really passionate about. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing people virtually on training when they join either tomorrow or on Monday. Yeah, definitely. So, yeah, this is it from us today, everybody. If you do have any other questions for Sarah, you can pop them on the comment box on Facebook and I'll come back to you. I'll make sure if there's anything that you're not sure about, I'll get the info from Sarah and let you know. Um, but otherwise, thank you so much, Sarah. And for mm -hmm. everybody watching, make sure that you get that 10% off while you can. That's great. Thanks. Have a great Friday. <laughs> yeah, see you later, Sarah. Thanks so much. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. Bye. Bye. Then. Bye.